How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Bleak Faith Forsaken. So, I have made a suicide run, and I'm gonna put that up as a separate video to get this, our primary weapon of the playthrough here. Uh, it's the Evolved Spear. So if we look at that, um, it has sharp penetration, uh, two empty slots, a passive of critical strike, which increases critical damage by 50%. Pierce with your, and the ability is pierce, pierce with your weapon hitting all enemies in front of you. Bunch of damage with the agility attribute, so, um, I don't know, we may go up on agility? I'll have to see, but, uh, if the build comes out like I'm imagining, uh, we might not need to. But, um, I'm wearing a different scarf, too. There are two tougher enemies. We shouldn't be here right now, basically, but, uh, farmed, uh, those dudes down there for, uh, their scarf, which adds, um, 10% sharp armor penetration and, uh, 3 to agility. So we do lose point, 2 points in agility, but, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna put that suicide run as a, um, unlisted video on those, um, curious on the path. Um, you know, I'll certainly point it out later in the playthrough, but, um, I'm not gonna bother fighting these guys right now. Um, we are going to be making some more suicide runs here to get some, uh, in this area anyway, to get a handler echo. Ring of command. Summoning extension. Okay. So, that may help us later on, um, because we're going to use the illusionist, so. Alright, so we're going to make a couple hops here. One of which is going to be over here. And I don't think there is anything at the bottom there. And we're going to be hopping over here. I mean, look at the, this is crazy, look at the scale of this place. It's absolutely insane, and there's a, there's a big, like, serpent flying around and everything. This place is crazy. Crazy to think that three people, like, handcrafted this world, and it's the scale that it is. It's amazing. Okay, so... Here's my jump I need to make for the handler echo. Go. Okay. And I think we can yeah, see the see the serpent. It's crazy. I think you can jump on him too, like later in the Oh That's okay. Like, literally took two years off my life, I think. Yikes. Okay. So, now that we got that, um, we are going to warp out of here and go back to Mechanarium. So soon. Uh, so basically, we can. Uh, we're about to get another hand, uh, another echo too. Uh, you know what though? I don't have any have any upgrade modules. We can slot in a couple gems though. I think. Here. Uh, 
one sack power. Craft. Yeah, let's craft a couple of these. And we're going to slot those in here. Oh, you know what? That's, uh... Hang on. I can slot them in here. Okay. Some changes. Put that in. Changes and one more. Okay, and then some changes. Uh, and then in here, we're going to put. Uh, yeah, let's do critical damage. I mean, we could put some health leech in there too, uh, but let's uh, go crazy with the critical damage. Okay. All right. So we got a little stronger here. I don't know if I can unlock. Oh, we can. Okay. And that's all we can do. Because we need one more. Another echo. Okay. Uh, but we can slot in another gem here. And let me see. What do we want to put in here? I think another crit damage, I don't know if that would be kind of overboard, I'm trying to think. Let's get one attack. Okay. When we get more unlocked, we'll do more crit damage. So that is a, wait, where is it? There's a ladder shortcut over here. There it goes up. Yeah, right there. Okay. All right. There's an NPC down here. Yes. Gets lonely out here. Thank the God Emperor for the voices that haunt me. Who knows what Yaroslav is up to? To turn on his own so brutally. Sardar filth. No order to this place. There's no cycle, no ebb and flow to the city. It all feels like... Uh, what do you care, anyway? War is hell, not a sewer. So I don't exactly know what you are doing here. Uh, can I answer? How well. There we go. How well. All right, so this shortcut opens later. Okay. 
pull this elevator to go down. We're gonna see what we can do against the boss here. So I was going to run through the back area of this place, but I actually forget how to get to the back area. So we may have to take out the boss. Come on, buddy. Oh boy. Oh, now you both are coming. Spear doesn't use too, too much stamina, so that's good. And there is a Tecromancer dude down here. That's gonna wanna cause some trouble. stamina to, to hit him back after doing the perfect block. Okay. And then we can jump over here. And up here. There's a little goodie over here. Splinter. There are a bunch of dudes over here. Gonna have to get used to the combo timings with uh, the spear. It's a different moveset. There's a bunch of dudes over here. Yeah. Oh. Yikes. Saw that coming. There's those guys. Oh 
there is a big guy. Over here as well. Bunch more dudes. Oh boy. So slow. There we go. Sometimes it does that. I have no idea why. Oh boy, more, more friends. Yikes. That's yeah, a whole bunch of guys over here. Crazy. But yeah, I um I do actually remember now how to get over to Jesus. You guys are never ending. Do remember how to get to the backside of um, this area, and it's from the uh, the upper block. So I'm not gonna make a trek back there for the third time. So <laughs> I mean, we have to take out this boss anyway. So oh Jesus! Okay, you didn't come over here, buddy. Those guys are kind of dangerous, but that went pretty well. Okay, I, we should be able to... Nope. I did this before over here. Should be able to put a homunculus. Nope. I know I did this before. Like right here. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of finicky. All right. Second boss is a giant, the Alperant Knight. That's a shockwave. Be careful when you jump on his back because he can retaliate and insta give you. Okay, so you want to do about four and then. Kind of move so he can't grab you. Oh. 
this time. at this for a few minutes. Got to play this a little more cautiously here. Kind of stepping out of the way he does that. There's a couple different attacks like that. Jump over the shock waves. And when you're on his back, it seems like I can stab him about four or five times on the bottom and only about four up top before I had to move. ones up top for the uh, dangerous ones.
aqui. So admittedly, that took me way longer than it should have. Um, <laughs> much, much because probably I did not have uh, life steal um, this time around. But it was just getting used to like get dodging out. Like pretty much, I was right on top of his ankles like the whole time last time. So. But that is going to do it for this one. We have a new perk essence uh, that we need to make our way to back to the uh, to the homunculus. And we'll put a new perk in next time. So hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you're doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.